New tonight, the National Weather Service says there were more tornadoes in Georgia last month than they originally thought. And this is because new satellite imagery and a closer look at radar data from that day. Meteorologist Melissa Nord breaks it all down for us tonight. That reanalysis they did took over three weeks, and now the total tornado count from January 12th is up to 14 tornadoes from the original 12 tornadoes. Now seven EF ones touched down and what they saw looking through pouring through all this radar data was something that the meteorologist in charge Keith Stellman has never seen before in the state, something called a mesoscale cyclonic vortex structure. Sounds really complicated. Let me break it down for you. There was an area in southwestern Spalding County that was about two and a half miles wide with a big circulation. But around this big circulation, there were smaller little tornadic circulations that formed this big complex. At one time, there were as many as four tornadoes. One, two, three, four on the ground at one time moving through southwestern Spalding County. And this is really interesting information. It feels like this is something that we don't really see here in Georgia. It is very rare for the way that that turned out with that one cyclone having the multiple tornadoes all at one time. It's really something that it, it, this is going to be used for research, you know, for future storms that happen too. Melissa and I, when we were hearing about this, we're kind of geeking out a little bit wow. talking about this because it is going to be some really good research that the Weather Service is able to go back and look at that. And that will hopefully help us when future storms come in too, because it's all of the forecasts that, that we, we do, we have to look at past storms too to gain more knowledge about it Absolutely. as well. Thank goodness we don't have anything out there like that Not right now.